I will tell you, there in the history of our country, this has never a thing like this has never happened. We've become a fascist country, we've become a Marxist country, we've become a communist country in so many different ways, but we're gonna take it back. I personally love when terms with specific definitions just cease to have any meaning at all and are just used as political talking points. Donald Trump certainly made no sense at all when referring to our country as both fascist and Marxist and also communist when speaking at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey this past weekend. And before you think this was just another random Trump speaking event or campaign fundraiser, this event was actually a fundraiser for families of January 6th defendants. It's odd that Trump is attending a fundraiser for someone other than himself, as we know he is facing dire money woes as his own indictments continue to stack up. I noted a few weeks ago that Politico reported he has taken to hopping on the phones himself to solicit donations because things are pretty bleak fundraising wise. He promised the crowd in New Jersey that he would donate to the cause, but as we saw recently when he literally promised a restaurant full of people he would cover their meals and then just left without paying. I don't think these defendants' families should really get their hopes up for a donation. But he did vow that should he win in 2024, he will pardon, quote, a large portion of the Capitol rioters, which is clearly why this group is intent on Donald winning a second term. But back to the video where he claims the U.S. has become a fascist country. I think he's clearly using it as a buzzword in front of an audience he knows will eat it right up because his strategy is both to confuse people and scare people into voting for him. And that fear mongering certainly came up later in his speech when he said the quiet part out loud in terms of what he needs to win re-election. Take a look. Uh, we have to bring back our country. We have to take back our country. We're going to do it on uh, the 2024 election. You know, I tell all these people, they all come in, they want to help. And biggest people, some of the biggest people, the biggest law firms, the biggest lawyers, they say, listen, I don't need any help. I don't want any help in campaigns. We have so many people that are going to vote for us. I want to guard the vote. When the vote yes. comes in, we have yes. to, it's my term I'm using, guard. Guard the vote. I don't need the vote. I need guarding the vote. Trump knows he needs to inspire people to intimidate voters if he wants to win the presidency. Imagine running for office and literally telling people that, no, you don't need votes. What you need is for certain people not to vote. That definitely reeks of fascism far more than anything else we can see today in American society. So on the one hand, while Trump just uses terms incorrectly and incoherently, he slips in very frightening concrete instructions in these speeches that definitely will have larger consequences for American voters. Thanks. For more of my coverage on The Breakdown, stay right here. You can watch my latest video on a MAGA trucker freaking out over Trump by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.